Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video and this is the Lannister Bugatti Chiron behind me and today I have Tom, TGE London, you guys probably already know about him. He is an automotive influencer, vlogger, creates lovely content, has some pretty cool cars, Porsche Carrera GTs and uh, lots more. I can't even keep up with the, with the amount of cars that he has now and again. Anyway, he's here today with his dog, Tom. Welcome. This is really awkward with... Hello, how are you doing? Social distancing? Lots of social distancing Hello, happening here. Uh, right, okay, Tom, we have the uh, Bugatti Chiron in chrome blue. First of all, since I've posted it, I've had a lot of people have mixed opinions with the car. Yeah. Um, we just want to all know what's your opinion on it. It's not personally something I would do, but I get it. In terms of Don't sit on the fence. Come on. No, no, no. Obviously, my, my Political no. answers. <laughs> I'm, I'm treading, treading carefully. Um, if you want to cause chaos, this is how you do it. And you've, you've completed the game, to be honest. You've completed the game with the car and you've completed the game with the chaos. So, in terms of that, 11 out of 10. Lovely. You've, you've got some balls to do it, to be fair. <laughs> I'll, I'll hand you that. And it does actually look quite good. Well, thank you. Well, anyway, you are also a part of Lannister. Um, so yes. am I. Um, Lannister came into my life uh, not so long ago. And I love the idea, the concept of their alternative banking system. And yes. uh, here we have it in all of its glory in Lannister branding. Uh, even without some of these stickers or whatever, it looks beautiful in blue. And just to know that the cards that you can get yep. are in chrome blue, chrome yellow, chrome red. And also there's the LCDs card. I'm just as excited as you as well, man. That carnage. I actually got them through the post the other day. Yes? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. the I booklet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen them yeah. in the cash. Welcome on board. Tom is also uh, part of the ownership program as well of Lannister. Uh, so we're going to be doing lots of good things and you're going to be seeing a lot more of Lannister in the future. Future. Um, I just want to show Tom around the car really it's the first time uh, he's seen this car um, it's not in the black that it originally came from uh, from factory it's in chrome blue so uh, he's uh, you know when they say first impressions always count he's always gonna have a certain impression of this car but we spoke about this especially when we traveled to Saudi Arabia when we was going for Diriyah season and Riyadh season whatever it was um, and you know I kept mentioning the Bugatti to you and you was always saying to me Aline I promise you that is the one. That's that, that's it. it you, I don't think there's a there isn't a better car. That's it. Do you know what? I was going to bring the Carrera GT. I was just going to say the Carrera GT is pretty cool. I'm going to look cool. like yeah. No. I can't see on camera. Yeah, it's a, it's a different it's a different era. I guess the Carrera yeah. GT was is an icon in its time and times go on and I think this is this is phenomenal, bro. Like, I lose, yeah, exactly. I, every time I'm around it, I look at it and I can't stop looking at it. And every time I'm in it, I'm speechless. So when I come out, it's actually made my whole vlogging experience, my whole, you know, talking to the camera experience a lot more difficult. And I think you probably feel that as well with your yeah, Carrera yeah. GT at times. Yeah, yeah, I was stressed. I wanted to do the car justice in my video, but I've just gone around just babbling at it. I've never even seen a shear on in the flesh, to be honest. Yeah. And do you know what? When you said you ordered it, yeah. don't take this the wrong way, yeah. I was kind of like, yeah, how's he? Is it Shut one of these ones where it just <laughs> up or someone else bought it? But it's actually yours. You know, you, yeah. Hold my hands up. I'm, like, I'm not sure, but you've done it. So those those stories, off. those stories where people always say that, oh yeah, I've got one parked in the garage or I've got one on order, but I flipped it before it even arrived. Oh, I made half a yeah. million over. Hey, listen, the whole point of buying this car is so you get it, you enjoy it, you drive it. You're putting miles on it as well. Yes. I'm amazed because most people just stick them away. That's, That's off it. to you, mate. That's off. Right. We're out yeah. here in the rain, the snow. <laughs> Well, Tom, uh, it's an absolute honor and a pleasure to have uh, your dog here too. Do you want to talk us through the dog a little bit and tell us a bit more about, because right now I what think it's taking more for? attention. Yeah, what spec did you go for? Tan? Cognac? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Um, his name's Crisp, so he's a French bulldog. Uh, he stinks and he's kind of annoying. He's having a fag now. No, don't, no, don't drink that. <laughs> he's just a liability, but yeah. No, it's a beautiful dog, brother. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, so can I have a little bit more of a walk around? I mean, yeah. with, with you with a car. Tom, before we let you go, and we'll yep. keep this short and sweet because I know you like to keep things nice and short and sweet. What do we think of the interior color? Obviously, it's contrasting with the blue now, but just if you can somehow just imagine it black with red. But even blue with red looks nice. What do you think? Black with red, I, I think it works. And you, you've really, you picked out the engine bay with the interior as well, and you've gone for the red underneath the flap at the back. Yeah. Flap is probably not the technical term for it. And <laughs> flap. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks good. It's amazing. It's punchy. I've got uh, red in my F12 as yeah. well. So. Is it possible I can look after your dog whilst you jump into the car? Yeah, and you by can all give. Means. And if you click this, uh, this on to yourself. I'm very, very nervous here. If I scuff anything, I'll probably have to sell my house. So. Every time I go out on the Carrera GT, yeah. I have a moment before I even get in it because I'm just so stressed out. Yeah. You do you not get anxiety driving around in it? How, how do you? Because obviously you're used to like expensive cars. Put on the brake. Start. Oh, you're joking me. This one. Fire it. You are joking me. <laughs> There's nothing like a W16. Once that enters what? your life, 
You're stunned. You're have you gone foot everything. flat yet? Huh? Have you gone foot flat yet? Can you? No, no you can't. never. You, you can't, can't. Never. You, you can't. haven't, and you won't. And I haven't, and I won't. No. <laughs> this is hell. This I'm is honestly hell. I'm so stressed down. out. I need to feel the whole idea of the interior when you're inside of it. So when when you're here, it's quite a nice driving position. Yeah, and look at the sea strip in the middle. Just look to look, look to your passenger. You're this this is the best thing ever. Oh. And look out the rear view mirror. Well, just have a look. Just quite good visibility, to be fair. I'm yes. quite impressed. Yes, especially for a car that's a left-hand drive and you're mm. worried about blind spot issues. Just look to your right. Look, the window goes right to the edge. You, you can't look any more than that. There's no blind spot there. That's not so bad, actually. This is better than kind of an Aventador. It's it good. It suits you a lot more, though. Thank you very much. I need to sell a few more protein <laughs> shakes and I'll be there one day. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Nice one. So guys, welcome to the interior of the Bugatti Chiron. Of course, I had to take my friend Tom out for a drive. Tom, you're Hello. in the Bugatti Chiron. It's finally happening. We spoke about it in the steam room, in the sauna, uh, in the pool, in the gym, everywhere. Sounds a little bit, uh, a little bit odd now. <laughs> Stop. But yes, we are now driving through Mayfair and we are not playing fair. I've got my buddy Tom in the passenger seat and this is his first drive in the Chiron. Tom, take it away. Tell him how you feel. Um, I was just saying, it feels like being in a kind of, in a video that's just been put on fast forward. Ah! It hurts your organs. And that was like 15%. But, yeah, I can tell you're not even tickling it and it's actually painful and stressful how quick it is. Um, I don't see your license lasting long in this, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, you can say that, but um, I'm pretty sure it will because... Uh, sensible I just, driver. I drive so really sensibly. Absolutely. I, I certainly wouldn't be able to be trusted in this thing. Mm. Well, you... Yeah, well... It is comfy. I, I was just saying, it is comfy. I, I expected it to be like crashy and uh, horrible. Tom, you realise that there's not much actually going on in the car. Like, there's no screens, the passenger only has the dashboard um, and what not to display. But other than that, it's just a, it's just a theatre. It's everything, the way Bugatti puts everything together. Yeah, look. Feel, feel the buttons, the feel the door. Yeah, this carbon that. fibre here at the top was £55,000. I could have bought a Mercedes grand. C63 for the price of what it cost me to have carbon fibre on my door. I mean, I'm in love with, at the moment it's in blue with red, but originally it's black underneath, but we know Lannister is up for global domination, so um, it's important. Lannister, it's, uh, causing hell. <laughs> causing hell. And so are you, brother. So I am. You. I'm doing my bit. I'm yes. doing my bit. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like for more. And catch some more content on Tom's channel. Click over here, subscribe, and make sure you click the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.